What's going on, everybody? Blackstang610 back again with another episode here on Mossy Pine Ranch. Uh, we are at the beginning of spring. Uh, we're going to be basically plowing up uh, some withered fields. As you see here, we got 44, 45, 34, 35, and 48 all need to be plowed under uh, and, and transferred over. So we're going to be doing that today, and we'll see what we, uh, what we get into. We picked up a couple new pieces of equipment. We got ourselves a new gator. Uh, just a little, you know, farm truck. We actually found this used and uh, did a little work to it. Got it up and running. And then we also had a farmer approach us and offered to trade us for our farm truck that was in there. I guess he'd always liked grandpa's farm truck uh, and offered us an even trade on this uh, international Lodestar grain truck, which was really cool because, you know, we have my, my pickup and we have John's pickup who he's actually up in Pennsylvania. Um, but we have my pickup here and you know, the trailers if needed. So we figured, yeah, why not? So that's what, uh, what you guys are, have missed. Um, let's go run down here and, and get started. it's been fun man we've been uh trying to keep things going here just waiting for uh the thaw to start happening and we're about at that point i think we're gonna be able to start planting here probably in the next two to three weeks we'll see i'm thinking by end of march early april i parked the uh the john deere down here last night because i knew we were going to do this in the morning and let's go do it Let her warm up a bit. Let's do it. Get our head row. Well, it's not really a head row. We're just basically plowing a head row. I did think about making this one big field and I might still do that. Oh, it's only a little bit right there. Why don't we just do that? All right, we hopped out. We checked the plow depth. Everything looks good. Let's uh, let's plow across this field. Plowing all right. I like it. This will be easier to plant and whatnot too.
All right, almost wrapping up first fields. Well, two fields into one, which will be nice. We won't have to worry. We can just make this one big uh, crop field. And then we'll move on to the others. We got a couple others we have to do today. John should be coming back down. I think he said either today or tomorrow. Um, he had to run up and take care of some family stuff up in PA. Buttoning some stuff up there. Yeah. You know, I went up over winter for a couple days. It was a good time. All right. First field is officially done. I like it. Combining something that grandpa probably should have done a while ago, but you know what? Here we are. All right. Looking at both of these fields, these are both withered, withered as well. I'm going to start here with 48. We're not going to, uh, you know, turn this into a big field this time. We're just going to drop the plow and, and proceed like normal. We might square it off a little bit if we're able to. Now, it really is unfortunate we have to plow this under, but John and I just didn't have the means to get this stuff harvested. Uh, the field to my left is cotton. That was uh, one of grandpa's all time favorites, and we didn't have any equipment. So I don't know if he leased it. I feel like he leased the equipment or something happened to it. I, I, I'm not sure. Uh, but we wanted to get this one done and then uh, With the corn harvest Happening we just we did not get a chance to uh, Before it got too late in the season and at that point we couldn't do anything with this so You know we collectively John and I just said you know what Let's let it uh, go and we're going to pick it back up in the springtime. And we're not going to let this ever happen again. Oh, we're getting there. This little plow isn't too effective on these larger fields. It's definitely slow going, but we're making do. Uh, the 4440s handling it. I don't know. We might have to look into upgrading our plows and stuff. Or maybe I know um, Ted uh had inquired i don't really know if he was serious um he was actually interested in buying a couple fields from us uh to expand for his horse farm down there hill hidden valley ranch i don't know i you know it might be something that we have to take him up on just because it's kind of overwhelming but anyway Let's uh, let's just keep plowing this field under and I'm probably gonna combine 48 and 49 so this track here and then the track just to the south Down there. I'm probably gonna combine those into one big field as well just because 49 is so tiny And I feel like that will give it a little more value But you can see on our GPS there, uh, we have the satellite imagery pulled up and it is literally bordering up against uh, Tom's ranch. I said Ted earlier. <laughs> I meant Tom. I'm horrible with names. Anyway, let's get back to it. All 
all right almost done with this field we're gonna connect the field just to the south of us and that'll be two down well technically four down but we made two fields out of four so two down <laughs> i don't know man feels like uh it's gonna be a good growing season I i'm hopeful but we're gonna have to stay on top of it because i don't want i definitely don't want um things to wither this season we we can't afford to you know we're we broke pretty even uh and the only reason that happened was because of bruce and tom and you know the community coming out and really helping us uh saving us frankly so that is a, a major major boost to this farm and i i can't explain how thankful i am because i don't know if we would have made it uh through the winter you know without either depleting our savings completely or uh having to go belly up or, or you know refinance the farm or something like that which i just didn't want to do i was trying to avoid that at all costs but we're gonna get these two connected and then we'll move on to the next one Hey, John, what's going on? Hey, what are you up to? Uh, down back plowing, uh, the two fields into one right now. Oh, I got something to show you. You want to come up to the house when you're available? Uh, sure. Let me just finish this, uh, field up. I'm almost done. I'll be right up. All right. All right. Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. All right, finish this up, get up there, see what John's got for us to show me. I don't know, wonder what he got. I know he ran home, you know, back up to PA. Must be something good, he sounded excited. Hey, John, you got a copy? Hey, yep. Hey, I'm just finishing up down here. One more pass. Uh, you right by the house or where are you at up there? Yeah, I'm right in front of the house. All right. I will be right up. I'm just finishing up now. Okay. Looks good down here. Got everything combined, the two fields into one. Be a nice uh, either bean or cornfield. Awesome. All right, I'll see you up there. Okay. All right, let's go see what he's got for us. Oh, snap. The, is that another plow? How in... Hey. So I did a thing while I was in PA. I, and I, I can I, see. I went to a farm auction and I, I picked this bad boy up for 6K what dude that's the same thing that's on that on that we have yeah we paid 10 for ours that's a huge deal i mean i mean, well, I I mean we to. bartered we I, bartered 10 for ours but no I that mean, that's I, a great deal I, I had to i had to do it dude holy i was not expecting this 
How are we going to so, get it down? Um, what they use to put on here? Uh, forklift? Uh, yeah, they use a forklift. All right. Um, skid steer with the forks, maybe? Yeah, that'd probably work. Let me see. All right, I think I got it. It look uh, look stable to you? Yeah. All right, let's give this a go. Am I clear of the trailer? Yeah, you're good. Dude, this thing is in good shape. I know. That's why when when they wanted six grand for, they didn't sell it, and the guy came over and he was like, "Hey, I saw you. I saw you eyeing that up really well and looking over it." And you know, he came over and he's like, "He's like, are, are you interested in buying it?" And I said, "I mean, if the price is right." Yeah, you know? I get you. And he was like, well, "Well, what are you looking to spend?" I said, "Well, you know," I said. We bought one in North Carolina for for ten grand, and he's like, "I'll tell you what," he said. Since you came all this way, he said, "I'll give it to you for six. I said, "Sold." <laughs> Hell yeah, dude! I mean, I didn't tell him that I I didn't go up there just for that. But yeah, obviously. I mean, no. Hey, I, I this is perfect. I'm literally. So if you'll look down there by the red barn, uh, the red shed down there, I plowed that field under and okay. I combined those two little fields into one. All right. And I, I did the same thing down back for, we had that field on the right hand side and then that real tiny little thing right below it. Yeah. I plowed both of those into one. So I, nice. you know, just kind of consolidate and making, you know, rather than have to worry about little tracks of land in between we can just go you know what i mean we don't have to worry yeah, about 100%. it so we still have there's a field out by the road that's withered and there's right. a field down there uh the cotton field that we we couldn't okay. get to so i mean if you want to park your truck up and go back the trailer in over there and fire up that case uh i'll We'll get this thing hooked up. I'll put the skid steer away and let's get to uh, turning some fields. All right. Sounds good. Awesome, man. Just kind of swing it in. Yep. And you're going to back up to it that way. Keep coming back. Keep coming. Straight on, there you go. All right, hold on. Lift it up. All right, man. Beat. Cool. Let's, uh, I'll hop in the 4440 and right. we'll head down. Let's go up and do the one by the road first. Okay, sounds good. Do you think we should plow these two into one? I mean, might as well. Just make another big field here? Yeah. All right. Well, if you want to do that one, I'll do this one. All right, uh, good. Let me just quick build the line here. I'll cut the line from your field to my field. That way we know. Okay.
And if you just want to go around like the outer head row yep. And I'll I'll cut the uh, two together at the other top end All right, sounds good. All right Hey, it looks like there's a small spot over there if you want to grab that. Okay. And that's going to pretty much wrap it on this field. Looking good. This will be real easy to plant once we're ready to. Yeah, 100%. All right. This will be a good soybean field, it feels like. Yep, definitely. All right, that thing's still pulling okay? Sound okay? Yeah, sounds good. All right. Uh, we got, I believe, one more. We got to go down uh, the old cotton field down below and plow that under. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, Oh man, been out here a couple hours. Almost done with this field. We'll be able to call today. Might even get done a little early here. We just got this little bit here. Looks like John is just about done. And then we got this little inlet right there. And I think we can uh call today almost. John, you doing alright over there? Yep, just finishing up now. Alright, cool. You uh, want to tackle this little inlet behind me and I'll keep hammering this uh, side. Yeah, I'll get it. All right.
All right, just about wrapping up here. We got one more pass, I think. Maybe two. If I can make it one. Mm, it's gonna be close. I have to make one more. Yep, one more. All right, big field down. Cornfields, we're going to leave for a little bit. They just got harvested. We're going to let the ground settle and, you know, let that, uh, the corn stalks fertilize a little bit. Uh, how you feeling, John? You good? Yeah, I'm good. Cool, man. Let's go up. We'll get these, uh, parked up. And I think, you know, it's about chow time. Sounds like a plan. I'm just going to put my uh, plow here, put yours in front of this one. Okay. I'm going to go take this down and fuel it up. I'm almost out of diesel. guys that's gonna pretty much wrap it up for this episode thank you all for tuning in hope you enjoyed make sure you hit that like smack that subscribe button click that bell so you're notified when the next video from mossy pine ranch comes out uh we've been doing these every saturday morning i really like that uh probably be what we do for the most part uh going forward if you haven't already twitch.tv slash blackstank610 that's where i go live uh, most of the time and then these videos are supplemental to that check that out drop a follow over there if you haven't already I appreciate everybody tuning in also make sure you check out fighter uh, 3803 that's fghtr 3803 twitch.tv slash fighter 3803 uh, huge thank you to him for you know doing this project with me and uh, guys we'll see you on the next one all right later